In this tutorial, we are going to practice raising fractions to different exponents. With this first example, we have 3 fourths raised to the third power. Now notice that this exponent of 3 is attached to the parentheses, which means everything inside the parentheses should be raised to the third power. So what we are going to do is write 3 fourths to the third power in expanded form. So 3 fourths to the third power really is 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. Now that we have written our problem in expanded form, just multiply the numerators together to get your numerator, and then multiply the denominators together to get your denominator. So we are going to start with 3 times 3, which is 9, and 9 times 3 is equal to 27. So 3 to the third power is 27, and now we have to raise 4 to the third power, or 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times this last 4 is a product of 64. So 3 fourths to the third power is equal to 27 60 fourths. Let's try another example. With this example, we have 1 third to the third power. So what we are going to do is write that in expanded form. So we have to multiply one-third by one-third by one-third. Now for the numerator, we have all ones straight across. And when that happens, the product will always result in the number one. And on the bottom, we have three times three, which is nine. And nine times this last three here gives us a product of 27. So 1 third to the third power is equal to 127. And let's try one more example. In this example, we have 2 fifths to the fourth power. So we're going to start by writing this in expanded form. And after writing this in expanded form, we're going to start by multiplying our numerators together. Well, we're going to start with 2 times 2 and that is a product of 4. And then what we're going to do is multiply these twos together, and that's also a product of 4. And then we can multiply these two fours together, and that is going to give us a product of 16. And for the denominators, we have a 5 times 5 here, and that gives us a product of 25, as does this 5 times 5. Now we just have to multiply 25 by 25, and that would give us a product of 625. So 2 fifths raised to the fourth power is equivalent to 16 620 fifths. So when raising a fraction to an exponent, I would write that expression in expanded form first, then multiply all of your numerators together to get your numerator, and do the same thing with the denominators.